IDF ready for war as sirens wail in Jerusalem and Tel Aviv, one killed. Hamas claims to have kidnapped five Israeli soldiers. The IDF has not corroborated the report. Defense Minister Gallant, Hamas made a grave mistake. A barrage of rockets slammed into southern and central Israel Saturday morning, including in Jerusalem, where sirens wailed multiple times beginning at 8.15 a.m. Further sirens were heard at 10.15. At least one rocket directly hit a building in the Jidirat Regional Council, killing a woman in her 60s, according to Megan David Adam. The Hamas, terrorist organization, has made a grave mistake this morning and launched a war against the State of Israel. IDF troops are fighting against the enemy at every location, said Defense Minister Yoav Gallant following a situation assessment. The State of Israel will win this war. The IDF declared that it was ready for war after widespread rocket fire was shot into Israeli territory from Gaza, and terrorists infiltrated Israeli territory through various entry points. Residents in the south and center of the country are required to be in close proximity to protected areas, and those in the Gaza periphery should remain within a secure space, the IDF announced. The IDF began operating in the Gaza Strip, it said, although more than two hours after the attack started, Israeli action remained minimal. Hamas claimed to have kidnapped five IDF soldiers, but the IDF had not yet confirmed the report. Israeli media reported that Hamas has 33 prisoners of war, including both civilians and IDF soldiers. The Prime Minister's office said that the Security Cabinet would convene around 1 p.m. following an extensive situation assessment that took place in the morning. Opposition leader Yair Lapid is set to meet with Netanyahu following the security meeting. Gallant approved the draft of reserve soldiers in accordance with the IDF's requirements. Gallant announced a special security situation in Israel's home front, within a 0 to 80 km radius from the Gaza Strip. This status enables the IDF to provide civilians with safety instructions at close relevant sites. Hamas is the ruling entity in the Gaza Strip, responsible for this attack, and will bear the consequences and responsibility for the events, the IDF said. Injuries and treatment. Megan David Adam, MDA, said it had treated dozens of people throughout the country, including many in critical condition. In addition, MDA teams were providing care for victims of anxiety and other minor injuries resulting from falls on the way to shelters. Aside from the woman who died of her wounds, the injured included a 52-year-old man from Jidirat who was moderately injured, and a 20-year-old man from Yavni, also moderately injured. Both victims were transferred to Kaplan Hospital.